You invested $22,000 in two accounts paying 8% and 9% annual interest. If the total interest earned for the year was $1,860, how much was invested at each rate? Let's go ahead and work through this one. Solution. So there's a few ways um, to do this problem. You can use one variable or you can use two variables. I'm gonna do it with two variables and then I'll explain how in theory you could only use one variable. So let's let X be what we're looking for. We're looking for the amount invested at each rate. So at 8%, let's do that. So X is the money invested at 8%. So how much money we actually invest at 8% and we'll let Y be equal to the money invested at 9%. And so now we can create some equations uh, with the given information. So it says here we invested $22,000 in two accounts. So that means that the money invested at 8% plus the money invested at 9% is equal to 22,000. So we know that x plus y is equal to 22,000. Now we need to use the other piece of information, the total interest. So the total interest earned was 1860. So it's important to know how to come up with this. So if you invest x dollars at 8%, then how much money do you make from that? You make 8% of x. This is how much money you earn. So this is earned at 8%. This is the money earned at 8%. So if you invest $100, if X is 100, you would get 8% of 100, so you would get $8. If you invest $1,000, you would get 8% of 1,000, so you would get $80, etc. So we invest X dollars, so we earn 8% of X. Of means multiply, that's why we're multiplying. Likewise, if you do 0 0.09 times y, so 9% of the money invested in y in, 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 at 9%, this is the money earned at 9%. That's a sloppy 0 0.09, okay. <laughs> so the money earned at 8% is 0.08x. And then the money earned at 9% is 0.09y. So if we add these up, the money earned at 8% plus the money earned at 9% equals the total money earned, so 1860. All right, so this first equation tells us how much we invested. The second equation tells us how much we earned. So the money earned from the first account plus the money earned from the second account equals the total money earned. All right, now we just have to solve uh, the system of equations. So an easy way to do it, I'm thinking, um, is to, let's get rid of, how about we get rid of the, um, of the y, just, just for fun. So let's multiply uh, both sides by negative 0.09, both sides of this equation. So we would get um, negative 0.09x, right, multiplying it by negative 0.09, and then uh, negative 0.09y, okay, multiplying negative 0.09, negative 0.09. Now let's do it here, negative 0.09 times 22,000. I have to use a calculator. So that's going to be, um, I got negative 1980. Okay, negative 1980, good stuff. So we took this first equation and we multiplied it by negative 0.09. Why, because now when we add these, uh, stuff is gonna go away. Let's see, 0.08x minus 0.09x is gonna give us negative 0.01x. And then here, these are gonna cancel. And then here we get 1860 minus 1980. So 1860 minus 1980. It's gonna give us negative 120. And then you can just divide this by negative 0.01, negative 0.01, negative 0.01. So we end up with 120 divided by 0.01. It's going to be a really nice number, <laughs> beautiful. Uh, X equals $12,000, so $12,000. So it looks like we invested $12,000 at 8%, so this is at 8%. And if you think about it, we invested 22,000 total. So what's left? Well, Y must be equal to 22,000 
that's the total invested, minus what we invested at um, 8%. So that's going to be $10,000. So $10,000 at 9%. And you can just do it in your head. The numbers are so nice, right? So if you invest uh, $12,000 at 8%, you start with $22,000. So you're left with $10,000. So the answer for 9% uh, is $10,000. The other way to do this, by the way, well, there's a couple other ways to do it. So first, when we got this system of equations, we didn't have to solve it the way we did. Uh, what I typically do is I solve for y and then use substitution and plug it in. I have no idea why I did it this way, but it seemed to be faster, so I'll take it. Another way to do it is the way that is typically done in like homework problems and stuff and like solutions to the homework. They'll say, okay, so x is the uh, money invested at eight percent i don't like doing it this way i think it's too hard uh and then so that means that twenty two thousand minus x is the money this is faster invested at nine percent so if you invest x dollars at eight percent and you start with twenty two thousand that means you have twenty two thousand minus x dollars left to invest at nine percent so then you create the equation for the interest earned so it'd be eight percent of the money invested at 8% plus 9% of the money invested at 9%. And that's equal to the total money earned, which I believe was, yeah, 1860. Good stuff. Then you just solve this for X, right? You keep going, and then you plug it back in to this to get your other answer. So a little bit shorter, but I think this equation is harder for people to understand. Again, 8% of the amount you invested at 8% plus 9% of the amount you invested at 9% equals the total money earned. So this is the money earned at 8% plus the money earned at 9% equals the total money earned. Uh, a harder problem, and hopefully uh, it made sense. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.